In the city that looks like heaven 2,000 years after the birth of Jesus, the expectation of Christmas for local Christians and pilgrims from all over the world is lived with intensity. Despite the winter colds, the sun gives a special light to the day. Here there is the whole world, a lot of people. All of Palestine is here. More than 30 groups of scouts have come to attend this Christmas. I really think this is the beauty of Christmas. It is a beautiful message to all the world that Bethlehem is calm, open. You can breathe tranquility and people want to celebrate. They want to be happy. For those preparing for entry into the Grotto of the Nativity, the expectation was great, and in the long queue, one waits with faith. It's just actually excited to be able to walk on the areas that uh, Jesus walked before, and uh, uh, of course the excitement about where he was born. We are actually standing at the place where, where he was born, and, and uh, what else? Uh, add more. <laughs> I think, yeah, the significance of being able to be in the same place where Jesus was, where he was born, uh, because we believe Jesus is our Savior, and uh, he came to this world for us. Yes. So it has a very intimate feeling to be here. And after having kissed the star that indicates the place where Jesus was born. A emotion was infinite. The emotion was endless. I realized that God descended to become a man. He bent, he was emptied, the movement I made to enter that cave, as if it were my deepest intimacy, and thank God for the birth of his son. It was just to lower myself, an experience of humility. It's very cool because uh, you see where is born Jesus, where is supposed to be born, and uh, it's like, uh, wow, I'm just, uh, I'm just seeing where is born Jesus. So yeah, very emotionless and uh, very interesting with all the, the, um, the religions like Armenian, Orthodox or, and Catholic. Another important moment was the entrance of the apostolic administrator of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem in the city. This is one of the few times in which it is possible to cross the wall that divides Jerusalem from Bethlehem without passing through the checkpoint. Walking among them, the Archbishop showed that the church is outgoing. He wanted to pay attention and wish a Merry Christmas to all those who were waiting for him. I want to wish to, to all Merry Christmas. Uh, we have a lot of problems, a lot of uh, issues, but in Christmas we Remember the incarnation of God. God visits us, and when God visits us in Jesus, we have everything. Happy, joy, and peace, and we will build together with him peace in our land here. Merry Christmas. And for those who were here on December the 24th, the experience was certainly unforgettable. This is the first time for me to be here the, during the time of Christmas. Uh, I feel what happened more than 2,000 years ago, that uh, when Jesus was born uh, for the purpose of saving the world, uh, I've seen as if uh, for the first time for me, Jesus has born in my life. First thing, I very, feel very excited. A lot of people and most always the, the, miss my life. First time, at the Christmas time, to this holy, holy place. I feel very, very excited. You know, I can't sleep last night, <laughs> really. I only sleep about maybe three hours, you know, waiting for to be here. Now we are preparing for the moment when, once again, Jesus will come. <laughs>